This is how an entire scientific field we call AI now was invented in one summer. This is the history of AI series, a series where I demystify where this technology came from, and this is part two, the birth of a field. This story is set in the early 50s. Research on thinking machines was a total mess, scattered across fields like cybernetics and automata theory. A young Dartmouth professor at the time, John McCarthy, got fed up of all of this scatter. He and three colleagues, Marvin Minsky, Nathaniel Rochester, and Claude Shannon, decided to get everyone in one room. They needed a new name. McCarthy coined one to be intentionally neutral, artificial intelligence. It was a power move to distinguish it from the other fields. But the plot of this story is the proposal they wrote for funding. It was built on this ridiculously bold conjecture that every aspect of learning or any other feature of intelligence can in principle be so precisely described that a machine can be made to simulate it. In plain English, they believed they could solve intelligence, all of it, and they schedule an eight week, 10 man workshop to make a significant advance, the sheer unadulterated optimism. This 1956 event is now called the Dartmouth Summer Research Project. It's become so famous. It's known as the Constitutional Convention of AI. So did they solve it? No, of course not. I mean, in fact, their main conclusion was, wow, this was way harder than we thought. So what's the story? They did something more important. They gave the field a name, a community, and a mission. They laid out the entire research agenda, language, abstraction, problem solving. That optimism lit a fire. Next time, we'll look at the first big story that came from it, trying to build a mind with nothing but pure, cold logic.